All right. Here we go. Hope you're all ready for this. Because it's happening. Professor, do you think Edelgard will show up? She will. Well, well. It's been a long time, Professor. And hello to you too, Dimitri. Edelgard, I did not think you would actually accept my request. Call it a win. Well then, what did you want to talk about? I will get straight to the point. Why did you start this war? There had to be a way to change things in your territory without the need for so many senseless casualties. It may be hard to believe, but this is the way that leads to the fewest casualties in the end. Don't you see? How could I? Countless people have already lost their lives in this conflict. The longer we took to revolt, the more victims this crooked world would have claimed. I weighed the victims of war against the victims of the world as it is now, and I chose the former. I believe that I have chosen the best path, the only path. Even after seeing the faces of those who have suffered the ravages of war, you would still force them to throw their lives away for the future? You are obsessively devoted to this war and deaf to the screams of its victims. You cannot change the cycle of the strong dominating the weak with a method like that. You're wrong. That very cycle is exactly what I have devoted my life and my power to destroying. If after all of this, you believe the weak will still be weak, that is only because they are too used to relying on others instead of on themselves. Yes, perhaps someone as strong as you are can claim something like that. But you cannot force that belief onto others. People aren't as strong as you think they are. There are those who cannot live without their faith, and those who cannot go on once they have lost their reason for living. Your path will not be able to save them. It is the path of the strong, and so, it could only benefit the strong. <laughs> so you consider me strong, do you? Even if one clings to their faith, the goddess will never answer them. Countless souls will be lost that way, living without purpose. And I can be counted among those who have died that way as well. But that's why I must change this world, on behalf of the silent and weak. And do you intend to become a goddess yourself? Will you steal the power to take action from the broken-hearted masses you claim to defend? The ones who can truly change the way of the world are not the rulers, but the people. Pushing your own sense of justice and your own ideals onto even one other person is nothing more than self-righteousness. Maybe it is self-righteousness, but it doesn't matter. Someone has to take action and put a stop to this world's endless, blood-stained history. Do you not believe in the power of the people to join together and rise up? Humans are weak creatures, but they are also creatures who help each other, support each other, and together find the right path. I have learned that humans are capable of all that from the professor and from everyone in my life. I doubt a highborn person like yourself could know how the poor feel or what motivates them. This is nonsense. Though, I'm finally starting to understand how you feel. But that makes it even clearer to me that we can never fully understand each other. I feel the same. I finally understand. What you believe is right. Goodbye, Dimitri. Wait, Edelgard. There is something I must give you. This is for you. Use it to cut a path to the future you wish for. And I will rise up to meet you there, El. Uh. El! So it's true. You're really going away? Going back home? There's nothing I can do about it. It's all happening so fast. I'm as surprised as you are. El. Um, here. I want you to have this. El, listen to me. No matter how hard things get, you can't give in, okay? You've got to cut a path to the future you wish for, no matter what. It's... a dagger? 
Why would you give me something like this? Oh, um, I'm sorry. I couldn't think of anything better to give you. Edelgard, what are you doing? It's time to go. Hurry and get in the carriage. Oh, I... I'm sorry, Uncle. I have to go now. I... I remember now. You gave me a dagger all those years ago. <laughs> I'm still sorry about that. I should have given you something that would have made you happier. Perhaps. At the time, I was quite flustered by such a dangerous gift. I left without giving you a proper response, and that was the last time we saw each other. True. It is a sweet memory, with a bitter ending. I'm afraid it will do no good to reminisce, Dimitri. That girl you knew back then is gone, as good as dead. But I'll tell you now what I wasn't able to tell you back then. Thank you, my dear forgotten friend. Because of you, I never lost my heart. As for the future, that will be decided in battle. King of Fargus, as the Emperor, I shall await your arrival in Inbar. Really hoping that that would actually... The decisive battle ahead, Zurichon visited the cemetery. Sorry. It looks like I'm going to have to leave you now. One day, I hope you'll give this ring to someone you love as well as I love her. Someone I love. <clears throat> All of these choices, chat. You should wish to share your life with Petra. this back then at the during the first week so Don't worry about any of this until possibly the battle after here we go chat this is it this is it we're finally gonna do it The Kingdom Army, having gathered new troops and significant strength, commences its march towards the Imperial capital of Enbar. In response to their movements, Emperor Edelgard orders her trusted retainer, Hubert, to the front lines to meet the Kingdom Army head on. The two forces clash in the city streets. Twelve units. Oh! 
Oh no, I didn't finish his in flames. Oh no. Damn it. Whoops. I completely forgot about that one. Oh, it's too late now. I've already saved over it. Far too late now. But already, but glad I'm not missing the end. Yes. Welcome, Grouchy. Oh, we are here. We are in it. What is this? Just defeat the enemy commander? Oh, God. Where is our... In where is Hubert? Oh, my God. Where is... Where is Hubert? Super far away. And. Ah, there he is. Oh boy. How are you doing, Grouchy? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Doobie doobie, the edgy emo kid. Yes! That's precisely who we're fighting. This is gonna be a, this is gonna be a fun fight. Um, maybe I should actually have her over here. Actually, Maybe? Alright, so my goal is to try and get this done in the quickest way possible. Quickest way possible. How would I do this? So if I had another stride, that might help. Or if I had someone else do stride, I probably eh, uh, the quickest route might be straight through the center, but that would be extremely risky. So essentially, it would be uh, Bernie. Dory, Lysithia, and a hmm, stride character. Stride character would instantly, obviously, uh, stride, give them everybody plus five movement. 
Bernie would probably go ahead and move up to here. Or no, we will probably... Damn. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to actually fight our way through the streets. Give me Bernie. It's gonna be a... This is gonna be a real interesting fight. Because I think as soon as I get to, like, in, get to this section here... Right here is when I could probably... Uh... Do my thing. Probably. We'll see. Anyways, um, I don't think there's really much else I can actually do to, uh... I mean, hell, maybe if I can... This might actually be, like, the safer route of all these damn monsters here. Uh... God, how far does your warp go? Uh, based on magic. 46. Alright, I definitely have items that could help out with this, I believe. Okay, so... Uh, magic, plus two. So I probably actually want to give this to Sylvain. So he has a better magic attack. Where is it? Right here. Okay. Items. Let's go ahead and put away your spear for now. What is your magic? 29. Uh, yeah, we'll give you a magic item. We'll give you the magic. Give him the magic, chat. Uh, there's defense. Two decks. All right, who would I give the defense to? Who has the least amount of defense? Okay, you have 27 defense, so I probably actually give it to you. Five defense. Good God. 37. Yeah, I probably actually want to give it to her. You also just get rid of that shield. I think that's it. All right, chat. Give you that land, a blessed lance. I'll give you a blessed lance. Um, yeah, I'm not going to need that anymore. I might be interested in giving her a Blessed Lance. Actually, actually, yeah, let's give you a Blessed Lance. Uh, you know what, Dimitri? Uh... What is your natural crit, Dimitri? A 41. Actually, not bad. <laughs> Though, compared to Bernie, good god, girl. Might as well just give you that final dex. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to give you that final dex right now. Hold on. Uh, store that for the time being.
Um, I have brave. I have blessed. I have. I have blessed bows. Um. But I don't think there will be great here. So. I don't think so. Anymore. I think we're set as best as we're gonna be, chat. So, uh... One more check for the battlefield. Mm. I think this is going to be the, uh, the part where I actually want her to be... At least with... Damn. This is an interesting. My main task. So, getting up through here. If we can get to right here. I should be able to have by safety I just warp Bernie in yeah probably Bernie in here and then hopefully crit Huey what's your luck only tw only 21 huh okay well chat uh let's any thoughts on positioning Because this is uh, going to be very rough. Seems as good as it can be. Okay, so with that, I'm going to head to the restroom. I can quick check. I'm going to be right back before we completely do this fight. Or else, I'm going to go in the middle of the fight. So be right back.
Okay. Final save. Fight. Gates to the Imperial capital have been broken. All troops, storm in! The Emperor is within reach! Imperial troops are dug in across the city. Let's cut through them and carve a route to the palace. <laughs> the Savior King arrives, hands red with blood. Let's give him a royal welcome. Artillery! Once the enemy is in range, fire at will. Artillery? Reinforcements will fly in shortly. Keep your focus and hold steady until they arrive. Oh, artillery. Oh, artillery. Ah! Oh, boy. Better actually select them. So I know... Ooh. Oh, this is gonna be good. I wish there was like a mass warp. That would be great. All right. So to start this entire Ready endeavor off. Wait, what? Any? What's the plan? Okay, we'll start with this. Haunting nice. I sense. Well done. Leave it to me. Take okay, me you, so you take him. With this. Really? Ugh. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Go for it, girl. You took me lightly. out. Yeah, let's go ahead and fire him out. Okay. I want to keep her as safeguarded as possible. I'd be honored. Dead eye. Let's go. Steel bow. Uh, 87. Go for it. Not a crit. That's fine. Damaged him somewhat. Okay. Now this path. Well, actually, well, no one's really got. No one's really died yet. So, I think a gambit. I think a perfect. I think a gambit will be perfect. Really? She can't actually get in there? Damn. Hmm. I have to be the best I can get it. Hey, she finally maxed out. Quite helpful. More fighting. I will prevail. All right, get on in. Oh, wow, you're not going to be able to do anything to him. Okay, I guess we'll take out the caster. God. Oh, yes, take out the caster. 
That's gonna be that would be rough. Uh start off with one of these. Boop, boop. Each battle a victory. 